Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over are the top 10 reasons why ultrasonic leak detection is one of the best methods to find refrigerant leaks. Before we get started, I just want to show you how the ultrasonic leak detector works. So we have a leak right here. Now the ultrasonic leak detector works best right after you shut the refrigerant compressor off. And that's because you have oil on the inside of the tubing and the pressurization is escaping through the oil in order to make a squealing noise that's actually ultrasonic. Now we have just under 100 psi of a pressure test on this evaporator coil. Another thing that you can do before checking with the ultrasonic leak detector is to actually wet the coil down. And what will happen is that will actually help a squealing noise as well when the pressure escapes through the tubing. And the evaporator coil in cooling mode is usually already wet. Now if you're checking for a leak at the outdoor condenser, you can go ahead and wet that down before checking. And this leads me to, can you check for a refrigerant leak when it's windy outside? So you got to remember that the ultrasonic leak detector is going to pick up ultrasonic noise and not just wind noise. So we're going to go ahead and test that out with this fan right here. So reason number one is that you can use an ultrasonic leak detector when it's windy outside. And actually compared with a heated diode, the wind will actually blow the refrigerant away from the sensor and it may not even pick it up, whereas an ultrasonic leak detector will actually read that noise. So reason number two is when we add a fluorescent dye into a system, we have to add it into the port and then we have to wait for it to circulate through the system in order to come out of the leak. So we'll typically wait maybe three days or something like that in order to check for the leak. Whereas with the ultrasonic leak detector, we can go ahead and check right away. So reason number three is that the ultrasonic leak detector can be passed by the joints fairly quickly compared to a sniffing tool such as a heated diode. So let's go ahead and turn this on. So remember that we're actually working almost at the speed of sound because we have the speed of sound coming into this tool and then the tool just has to output it into something that you can hear as a noise. So that's compared to maybe a pump that has to draw a chemical across the sensor and it's going to take a little bit for that chemical to be read by that sensor. So you may be past the joint before you actually get it. Reason number four is that you don't have to calibrate this uh, for certain refrigerants. So you don't have to calibrate it for an HFC or for a CFC or for an actual refrigerant type before using it. Reason number five is there's no tip to change out. The tool always works at the same level, so at the same standard all the time. So you just make sure you have a fresh battery and you're good to go. Reason number six is you don't need any special battery. You don't have to rely on charging it. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It just takes a standard battery. Reason number seven is the ultrasonic leak detector is going to go off right where the leak is. Whereas an infrared leak detector, say the leak is right here, it won't go off until you're over here. And then if you're going to start over here, it's not going to go off until you're over here again. So it kind of has to be in movement and sensing a change in order for the infrared leak detector to go off. Whereas the ultrasonic leak detector, it's just going to get stronger as you uh, hone in to where the leak spot is. Reason number eight is that you only need one leak detector for multiple refrigerants. So in the past, you may have needed multiple different uh, leak detectors, one for R22 and one for r 4 a or other HFC refrigerants, just because the sniffing tools would only work well with one type of refrigerant and not with the other one. Reason number nine is there is no startup time. So you just press this button, you hold it in. I mean, maybe your startup time is, what, two seconds in order to hold that button in. So it doesn't need to calibrate itself, it doesn't need to warm up, nothing like that. You can just go ahead and test. Reason number 10 is that you can use the ultrasonic leak detector with any type of pressurization whatsoever. So whether it's uh, air in a fuel gas line, whether it's nitrogen uh, on a pressure test for an air conditioning system, whether it's a CFC refrigerant, an HCFC refrigerant such as R22, or an HFC refrigerant such as R4 tonight. 
It really doesn't matter. So as you can tell, this is my most favorite and most relied upon leak detector in order to find even the smallest refrigerant leaks. I have that link down in the description section below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.